Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like my teaching and my efforts, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates. In this video, I want to discuss one of the gate question which came in the year 2014. First let me read out the question, then I will discuss the solution for it. Those who have watched my earlier videos related to the distance vector protocol and link state routing algorithm, they can easily solve this question. Those who have already watched those videos, I request you to pause the video and read the question and solve it by yourself. If you got the answer, please write it the answer in the comment section so that you can verify at the end whether your answer is correct or wrong. Okay, let me read out the question. Consider the following three statements about linked state and distance vector routing protocol. So they have given three statements such as statement S1, S2, S3 about the linked state routing algorithm and distance vector routing protocol. For a large network with 500 network nodes, and 4000 links. So we have 500 nodes are there and between them we have 4000 links are there. Now statement S1 they have given that the computational overhead in linked state protocols is higher than in distance vector. Statement 2 is given as a distance vector protocol with split horizon. They have explicitly written that a distance vector with split horizon. What is the problem with the distance vector count to infinity problem and also the loops problem is there. Because of the count to infinity problem, we get the loops also. But however, with the split horizon root advertisement, the count to infinity problem will be solved and also the loops problem will be solved in the distance vector. That is what they are saying. Avoids the persistent loopings, but not a linked state protocol. After a topology changes, a linked state protocol will converge faster than the distance vector protocol. These are the three statements they have given and they are asking which of the following is correct. They have given option A, option B, option C, option D. We need to find out which is the right answer. First let me discuss about the statement S1. The computational overhead in linked state protocol is higher than in distance vector. In, if you take the distance vector, only the distance vector will be forwarded to only its neighbors. Am I right or wrong? So that's why we will call it as a local knowledge algorithm. When it comes to the linked state protocol, it will be flooded in the entire network. So all the nodes in the network will come to know about your routing table. So sending only to neighbors is easy or sending to everyone which is complex means related to the computational overhead. Obviously sending to everyone using the flooding is a computational overhead. So statement S1 is correct. They are saying that it is computational overhead and yes it is. I will agree with that one. Am I right or wrong? Come to the statement 2. A distance vector with split horizon avoids the routing protocol. Sorry, routing loops. Yes, I agree. But a, not a linked state protocol. They are saying that in linked state protocol we have the routing loops. No, in linked state we will never have a routing loops because it does not have a count to infinity problem. But as in distance vector, we have a count to infinity problem. But they are saying that with split horizon, in split horizon, we does not find it. So this part is correct. But however, this is wrong. So total statement S2 is wrong. Okay, now come to the statement S3. After a topology changes, a linked state protocol will converge faster than a distance vector. Yeah, I will completely agree with it because you are sending the information to everyone. Whereas in the distance vector, you will forward to your neighbors. Then your neighbors will forward the, your, that information about it. Suppose let's take that I have A, B, C is there. Now A's information B only will come to know. Then B will send its information to C. In the next round, C will come to know about A. But whereas in the link state, if A, B, C is there, sorry, this is A, B, C. Now A will send its routing table to B and C. So in the first iteration itself, C is coming to know about A. 
So which is more? This is taking two iteration and this is taking one iteration. So link state is better. Am I right? This is will whatever the flooding we have discussed, it will be this done in the link state, whereas this one is done in the distance vector. So that is correct. Okay, the problem with the distance vector is convergence is low, that one is solved in the link state protocol. So statement 3 is correct. So let me read out the option A. Statement S1, S2, S3 are true. But however statement 2 is wrong, so this is not the right answer. Are you agreeing or not? Because of this statement 2, the option A is not the correct one. They are saying statement S1, S2, S3 are false. But however, S1 and S3 are true, so this one is also wrong. Come to the statement C. S1, S2 are true, S3 is false. No, even it is wrong because S2 is false and S3 is true, so this is wrong. Come to the statement 2. Sorry, statement means option D. S1, S3 are true. Yes, S1, S3 are true, S2 is false. Yeah, this is the right answer. So for this question, Option D is the right answer. I hope you have understood how I solve this question. If you still have any doubts related to this question, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a nice day.